All right, hi there. Today's lesson is on writing expressions, defining variables. It's the beginning of our algebraic reasoning uh, unit. Uh, and a couple things that I wanted to start off with is just uh, kind of creating a definition for what an expression and what a variable is. So an expression is a combination, and that should be a C, a combination of variables, numbers, and at least one operation. Okay. And then a variable within that, within an expression is a variable, or at least one variable, is an unknown number inside of, of an expression. So let's look at some examples of expressions and begin defining what the variable is. All right, so our first example is right here. So $5 more than Jennifer earned. So in this expression, this is an expression just describing a situation, five dollars more than Jennifer earned. The variable is the part that we do not know. So we don't know how much Jennifer has earned. So we're going to say that D is um, the amount that Jennifer earned. Okay, so we're going to let D stand for the amount she earned and write an expression based on that. So based on that, uh, we don't know how much she earned, but we know that the expression says $5 more, so D plus $5. Okay, so that would be an expression uh, or written from the, from the situation. Okay. The next one says three more runs than the Pirates scored. So again, we're not sure how many runs that the Pirates scored. So let's say that the letter P stands for that number, stands for the runs they scored. Now, based on that information, if we're trying to find out three more runs than the Pirates scored, that means that we are taking our variable, P, and we're adding three to that. Okay, so we'd have the Pirates score plus three more runs. So that's basically how you would write an expression based on a certain situation. All right, we'll look at one more example. And this one is 20 less the price of a movie ticket. So 20 less the price of a movie ticket. And this one is a little bit tricky. We see this word less, and so we know that we're going to be subtracting, or at least you should know that you're going to be subtracting. But what we don't know is the price of the movie ticket. So that is going to be our variable. And we're going to let M is the variable here. So M is the price. So 20 less the price of a ticket. Um, in order to write that as an expression, we would write it $20 minus the price of the movie ticket. Okay, and we write it that way because we have $20 minus the price. Okay, less the price of a movie ticket. Alright, so for practice, I want you to try a couple. Bring the class with you the next time. I want you to try, this one is the first one, a number increased by 8. So that's your first situation that I want you to write an expression for. So that's the first one. Second one is $10.00. More than Grace has. Okay, so two situations I want you to write expressions for. Make sure that you identify the variable. So um, tell me what is the variable, what, what are you looking for, and then write an expression based on that. And then don't forget to write your summary on the important details of this lesson. I will see you next time.